Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed building video. So in today's video I wanted to build the pancakes and a completely new house for my save file. So this is placed in the lot that their original house was placed in. I didn't move them to a different neighbourhood or anything like that. I just completely bulldozed the lot and decided to build this house for them. So I must say this is probably one of my favourite builds that I've possibly ever done i just absolutely love this and i had so much fun at building it and so i decided that it was going to be today's video so as you can kind of see the structure of the house is coming together quite quickly and that was because i have a general style of what i want this part of willow creek to look like for my save file so you can kind of see on the left hand side i've got a similar kind of house but just with a different wallpaper and there's one which i've also done in this little neighborhood just a side of the road and it's also quite similar so i kind of knew what i wanted this house to look like and so that's kind of how i managed to build it so quickly but you can kind of see it's quite a big house i think it's probably a tiny bit bigger than the original house that was here before i really do not like the old pancakes house it was just I really didn't like it, I didn't like the colour theme, I didn't like anything about it and so I needed to do a renovation for it and I just had so much fun building this. As you can kind of see I've gone for a more typical kind of suburban look for the house and using that panelling that we have with base game, it's my absolute favourite thing to put on houses, I love doing that and so I used it throughout the whole entire house on the bottom floor and then on the top floor I just did it the simple white panelling. So when it came to the pancake family in my safe hole I didn't know what to do with them because Bob and Eliza pancakes are complete opposites and their household bio states that they might maybe possibly get a divorce. I was actually thinking that I probably would make them get a divorce and build them separate houses and they'd be separate sims living in different homes and all that kind of stuff for my save file. But then I remembered a little while back Maxis on the gallery actually shared an updated version of the pancakes family and they actually had a son and so their son is called Iggy I believe and I thought I'm gonna try and build a house for him and so maybe the backstory is something like they've made it work and they've had a child and this child has just completely changed their lives and completely changed their aspect on each other and they was possibly going to get a divorce but maybe their child saved the marriage or something like that. I did actually make this house into three bedrooms. So originally in the old house that was here or in the house that would be like in when you open a new game, there was two bedrooms in the house. So one of the bedrooms was looking like it was more for Bob and then the other was more for Eliza. I still have three bedrooms in this house but I actually made them live in the same bedroom so they have got one like single well, one single double bed so not like two double beds so basically they sleep in the same room now I just thought that if they have a child they'll probably want to sleep in the same room to make just make, help make it work for their relationship and for their marriage and so that is one of the rooms another one of the rooms is for their child Iggy so I gave him such a cute little toddler room probably one of my favorite rooms that I've ever done for a toddler I just absolutely love it and then the other bedroom in the house is actually just kind of like a guest bedroom if you want to download this and you don't want the pancakes to live in here you you just want a general normal family I still wanted there to be another bedroom as there was space and so I just kind of made it into like a guest bedroom so maybe Eliza's mum or someone or a relative or a friend or whatever wants to stay around they can sleep in that bedroom you could possibly hire a butler and they could sleep in that room as well i didn't go for any certain colors or any like kind of theme in the room it was just kind of like a nice little plain guest room but still it's got a load of decoration in it as well just i didn't want to give it too much personality because I just didn't really imagine anyone really living in that room. It was just kind of like a little spare room for if they've got distant family coming over to stay or something like that. And so that is the other bedroom. You can kind of see me doing the floor plan now. And the floor plan, what I'm struggling to do, this is actually, it turns out to be that bedroom. But I actually fiddled with the floor plan a little bit later on as well because I wasn't completely happy with it. Because the upstairs bedroom, so the two sides of the front of the house, I just kind of made it into this one big room initially and I just didn't feel like a toddler would have that big of a room and so I do actually, I'm able to cut that in half and make it into 
two separate rooms which I much prefer and then like I said then you've got somewhere for your guests to stay or if you do just want to play in this house with a normal family you don't have to stick to Eliza and Bob Pancakes then you've got another bedroom for another sim. But you can kind of see I'm just finishing up the floor plan now and I'm just moving on into the exterior. Like I said I built this quite quickly but when it came to the gardening that was actually probably one of the longest things in this build so one of the things i wanted to add into the garden was a pool and i was able to do that but one of the things i really really wanted was to be able to have like kind of like a kids frame or something like that so we have kids room stuff which is a pack that we've had for maybe like a year or two now i'm not really sure on when that came out but i kind of wish we had more garden things for children to do like a climbing frame or like a nice little like a swing set but with like a climbing frame onto it or something like that something a little bit more realistic because i didn't want to add the toddler jungle gym that we got with toddler the toddler stuff pack i'm not a massive fan of that only because it is so big and it just it doesn't need to be that big i feel like it could have been made a little bit smaller the same thing goes for the backyard stuff I think it's like a slide or something I don't know I've never actually used it this is the thing there is a slide that came with backyard stuff and it is so big and I've never been able to place it in my houses because it's so large and it just it looks a bit weird and so I wish some of the stuff that we do get for backyards was a little bit smaller because like I said that toddler, toddler gym would have been perfect but it's just too big and chunky and the slide as well is just far too big I still haven't played with that I, I don't know how long backyard stuff has been out but I haven't actually properly played with that maybe one day I'll well I say one day when I do like a swim pool kind of build because I'm going to include one of them in my save file but maybe when I get to that I can add that in but I just feel like for regular kind of residential houses we want some smaller kind of water slides or something like that or I just want like a backyard pack but not backyard stuff more with like more activities to do so I would absolutely love if we could have trampolines in the sims I would I would actually lose it if we would, if we could have trampolines and sims I'll be so happy. I feel like in my personal opinion trampolines are more realistic to have in a standard family garden than a massive massive slide or a massive jungle not a jungle gym like a the jungle gym even, even so like the jungle gym or the monkey bars or whatever because where I'm from it's more common to have a trampoline in your back garden rather than some set of monkey bars i feel like monkey bars are really the only things that you kind of see at a park you never really find that in some back gardens where i'm from anyway um so i'd like some more realistic stuff for gardens for what well, I, I didn't really i've never really thought about it properly until i was doing this build because i just wanted to have like a little trampoline or something because i felt like it would fit in perfectly but we just don't have that in the game hopefully one day we'll be able to get it I'm not sure how they'll be able to put that into a pack though because we've already got backyard stuff and we've always already got toddler stuff and kids room stuff but maybe it could be in a free update one day I mean I highly doubt it but it's just something where we could have that in a pack or maybe if we could get like a hobbies pack I would love a hobbies pack for the sims 4 I would literally oh that is probably one of my top like five kind of packs like the Sims 2 free time was such a good pack. I have so many good memories with that pack and it was basically a hobby pack which I loved. You could do so much with that pack. I would love something like that for The Sims 4 and then we could have all that stuff being in the back garden and then we could have other stuff for other different ages as well. So I spoke about it before in my, I think it was my grandma's build which is actually the build next door to this. I would love a pack for elders and if we could have like a knitting animation or something like that then that could be included into the hobbies pack and then we could have more stuff for elders as well like casinos and if you didn't want it could just be for all different ages a hobbies pack so you could have a knitting animation and a gambling or not a gambling like a bingo kind of animation for elders and then you could have more trampolines and stuff for children and maybe young adults as well and teenagers and then we could just have some other stuff like pottery or i can't even think of in like some sewing animations if we could be able to have our sims to be fashion designers or something like that if that was an expansion pack i would absolutely love that i can't imagine that they'd be able to do all of that into a game pack but i think if that was a stuff pack that would be so cool because it would add so much more into the game if it just focused on 
loads of different smaller items not entirely like one big solid thing because with all the like get famous or get together all the big packs so like the expansion packs they've all kind of had one key focus on them and maybe if we could get a hobbies pack it doesn't have to have one big focus it could just be loads of little things but make a massive difference that's what I'm kind of thinking anyway. I would love to see that. That's probably in my top five, definitely. Um, but moving on, I've just kind of rambled over the majority of the back garden. So you can kind of see I added that swimming pool in and I did just add these monkey bars. I do switch them up to be the romantic garden stuff one just because I like the look of them a little bit better and they actually match with the fence perfectly. I used the base game fence to fence off the lot and then I used the cats and dogs fence for like the surfaces, not the surfaces, like the kind of, I don't know, like the kind of patio, the uplifted foundation basically, I used the cats and dogs one and then in the front garden I just used the strangerville fence which we've recently got which I've been saying a lot in my last couple of videos which I absolutely love. Um, but you can kind of see I'm just finishing up the garden, I add this little barbecue and this uh, kind of like set of table, it's the table with the six chairs with the umbrella on, it came with backyard stuff I believe and I don't think I've used it in that swatch before and I thought it would be nice to do something a little bit different so I used that one. And I'm just going around and terrain painting this lot and I did actually completely talk over one of the main things that I added into this house and so in the kind of household we have a garage on the side which you can kind of see and so I kind of made that into a gym because in the bedroom that was previously what I assumed for Eliza there was some gym equipment in there and so maybe she's a little bit active and so with this garage I didn't know what to do I didn't want to add another office because I felt like there was probably going to be too many office spaces in this house and I'm sure that Eliza is an unemployed sim when you first go into the game anyway and so it didn't really make sense to add another office I do actually do the garage at the very very end so you will see that at the very end I don't do it quite yet it's the last thing I get to and so because there was no real point for having another office I decided to make that into the gym room for her but I also then thought I need a room for Bob because maybe they're still working through their marriage but they still need their own space from each other so Eliza can go into the gym or into the garage and she can go and do a workout or maybe she just wants to go away and just get away from it all for a few hours once a week or something like that and so because Eliza had that option I did actually add a basement into this so I was originally going to put the entrance to the basement into the back garden I was going to have just kind of like a little stairway leading down into a door which will go into a basement but I couldn't manage to make it fit so I do actually just put it into the house you would have seen me do it already I just put it next to the staircase which goes onto the upstairs there's just kind of like a little wall and then a door and it goes down into the basement and so in the basement I wanted it to be a room just for Bob so Bob is a bit of a slob but like he is a messy sim I'm pretty sure he's I think I said this at the start of the video but I think he's like lazy he's um, I think it's a gluten and he's just not he hasn't got very good personality is saying that he would be a very active sim basically and so I basically made like a little TV room for him down there so he can go in there after work possibly chill out and play some games and all that kind of stuff it's more like a kind of laid-back lounge room whereas where Eliza is such a clean sim and she I feel like everything in this house has to be perfect and so I didn't actually clutter it up as much as I clutter my other houses up just for that reason because she is quite a perfectionist she's the, I think she might even have that trait I'm not completely sure on the traits but something along that lines I feel like she wouldn't allow Bob to have all of his gaming equipment and his PlayStation and all that kind of stuff his gaming consoles in the main formal living area and so I gave him this little basement downstairs for him to just go and chill out and do his own thing down there but you can kind of see I've now moved on to the inside so I actually started off with the lounge room because I, I tried to do the kitchen but I couldn't find anything that I was happy with yet I tried it a few times and I just wasn't finding anything that I thought that suited it well and so I decided to actually start with a lounge room instead I thought I'd come back to the kitchen where I've kind of got a clearer mind and that's what I did and I end up absolutely loving the kitchen I use the vampire kitchen kitchen cabinets um, for the kitchen I haven't used them yet and I just really really like them but as you can kind of see I'm just finishing up the formal lounge and so in here I just have like a little office kind of space like I said I didn't want there to be too many spaces for offices in this house like for a sim to go and 
do all their work and stuff because there is this space and then there's also a desk area in the spare bedroom upstairs and so like I said I didn't feel like they would need to be so many different places for your sim to use the computer but I did want to add one downstairs just in case there is a butler living in that room or something like that and there is like a kind of a communal family computer but I'm just finishing up this room now so I did actually add the cats and dogs fireplace into this room and I had the get famous sofas I believe in the cream and dark brown swatches which I absolutely love and then I just pair it with a get famous rug which I just think goes so perfectly so I have moved on and I'm now doing the kitchen like I said I decided to use the vampire kitchen stuff counter packs or it's not a stuff pack it was a game pack but I decided to use the vampire counters basically and I haven't used these as so yet and I can't believe that because vampires has been out for such a long time I remember I've tried to kind of incorporate the green counter swatch into my builds before because this counter comes in three different swatches it comes in this white color a green color and I think just like a really ready brown kind of color as well and so I have tried to use the green swatch before but I've just never been able to pull it off and so for this house because I imagine Eliza to be such a perfectionist and such a perfect kind of clean sim she doesn't want any mess anything like that I decided to go for an all white kitchen and I decided to use the vampire ones which I just think go so perfectly and I really like the detailing on them as well they've just got some really sweet kind of floral patterns in like the corners of the cabinets and also the side part of the cabinets are so beautiful as well so either side of the cabinets kind of like each end kind of cabinet I'm saying cabinet so much but there's some really really pretty stuff in there so one of them for I think it's the left hand side or the right hand side I'm not sure it has these pink and white plates which I think are so beautiful and so I use two of them and kind of merge them both together and then the other side just kind of has more like kind of cardboard kind of boxes and cans and jars and stuff like that which I can imagine could be like some soup or something but they just haven't got a like a closing door for that or something i'm not really sure but i just thought it'd be nice to add that in um but you can kind of see i just did some shelves above the fridge i did the same kind of thing that i do in a lot of my houses i just add some olive jars some books uh some little spice racks and then little i think they're salt and pepper shakers which we got with dine out but if you actually size them up then they look like cereal boxes which is really really cool but i do just use the white tile which we got from base game in this in this kind of kitchen because i wanted it to be very sleek and very white like i said but i didn't want to do it completely over all the walls and so i use this white tile on two of the walls and then for the rest of the room and for the rest of the house i use this kind of beigey kind of color which i like and you can kind of see i did actually add some pet bowls into this house and so I just kind of imagined that they could possibly get a cat so maybe Iggy their son really really wanted a cat for his second birthday or his I don't know how old a toddler is in the sims I don't even know but however old he was he wanted one for his birthday and they decided to get him a cat and so I did add two pet bowls into this house and you'll see me in a minute I kind of add the pet bowls and then my first thing is I go and put the litter box into the bathroom because I knew that if I kind of just left it I would just forget because sometimes I do really forget just to add the litter box in because I always just, I don't know, it's just one of the things I always forget to do it and so I do add a litter box into the downstairs bathroom. So this house does have three bedrooms and three bathrooms. There is a downstairs bathroom as you walk in through the front door, which I always like doing because in case your sims are just on their way out or something, or maybe if they got friends over and they don't want to formally invite them upstairs, it's just kind of like a like a formal thing. They don't want to invite them upstairs into their house. And so there is a bathroom on the downstairs. I did also do a bathroom for like kind of everyone, like a kind of master bathroom upstairs as well. And then another bathroom is it's kind of like a Jack and Jill bathroom it's a bathroom in between the two other bedrooms so the guest bedroom and Iggy's room I just thought maybe if they have another child or if you just want another bathroom you can delete the door from the other bedroom as, as well if you don't want that but I just thought it'd be nice maybe if they do end up having another child or something that they've kind of got like the same bathroom it's just sibling sharing kind of thing um, you can kind of see the little box and one of the bathrooms I only show the furnishing of one of the bathrooms because I feel like it can get really really repetitive and I just don't want to do that you can kind of see I've just finished the kitchen off and now I'm moving on to the dining room and so in their old house if I remember I haven't actually played in their house in a very very long time but I remember there being quite a big dining room I might be getting this wrong with another household but 
There was quite a big dining room from what I think is the pancake cells, so I decided to give them quite a nice big room anyway. So this isn't actually a separate room off from the house, it's kind of as you walk in through the door, you kind of turn the corner and then it goes into the dining room. I didn't want to close it off because I didn't want to add so many walls and stuff. And so it is still separated from the rest of the house, but it's not completely enclosed, which I really like. But I actually use the Get Famous table. I rarely use this table, I really like it, but whenever I look at it, it always reminds me of spider legs. I d it's just something about the table, it looks like spider legs to me. But I decided to go with that table because it matched with the chairs, which I use as well, and I knew that I wanted to use these chairs because the chairs kind of are in the same collection as the sofa in the kind of formal lounge room and so I just kind of wanted it to look like it's all the same collection, it's all the same, like it's all been bought at the same time basically and this Get Famous table just kind of went perfectly with the chairs as it has the same similar swatches and I'm actually really really happy because the base game toddler high chair thing it comes in the exact same swatches of the cushion and the wood which I didn't think it would actually like it would do that but it did and it just kind of matches perfectly and so it kind of looks like the high chair of that collection of furniture which is really really nice um but I am just finishing up the dining room now you don't actually see me furnish the kind of front door kind of area just because I didn't want to make this video really really long but I just put kind of like a little coat rack to hang this cats and scarves and coats and stuff in I had a number umbrella rack and I just add like a I think I added maybe a plant or a table I'm not completely sure but you'll see it in the screenshots anyway but now moving on I'm just doing Bob's room downstairs so this is his little basement this is his kind of little what I term as a man cave so this is where he can come after work chill out listen to some music play some games or just watch a film or two maybe he could have his group of friends come around and this is kind of be where they kind of chill out so maybe Eliza kind of wants it that that way as well because Maybe him and his friends are really, really messy and she doesn't want mess in her formal lounge room and so she kind of sends them down here, possibly, and she's like, you can, you have free reign with this, you can mess this up kind of thing because this isn't really a part of the house that most people will come to if they don't live there. And so you can kind of see, I just use some kitchen cabinets and I just kind of place them in to make it look like the TV is built in. I do actually add these on the bottom as well and then just kind of move the TV up. I'm pretty sure I end up switching that to a hang on the wall TV and then I use this red shelf and I just raise a load of different objects up and I kind of want to clutter in the little TV area like I said Bob is a slobby sim he doesn't he's not very clean he wouldn't really tidy up after himself and so I just kind of figured if this was his little personal space where he kind of controls what goes on he probably is responsible for cleaning it as well then he probably would have a load of different stuff in front of the tv probably blocking his view as well um so i just like use loads of different things just to kind of clutter it up i didn't want to clutter it up too much but you can kind of see what i kind of wanted to do there i do actually also add in the woodwork and table in here as well just because i thought that maybe he'd want to take up a hobby in maybe woodwork or something like that so i do just add them and then i use the new paintings that we got in the last patch update and i kind of feel like in that swatch which i used them in they look like maybe some architecture plans or something like that or maybe it's something that he's building i know it is actually just some big letters but in the format that they're drawn in it just kind of looks like some plans for maybe something that he's building or something i do actually also add this little boxing bag into here but i do actually delete it because I do eventually add a gym anyway and so I thought it'd be kind of silly to have a boxing bag in here. Like I said, the gym I kind of imagine would be for Eliza but obviously Bob can use it if he'd want to or maybe he can't, who knows, but they, I didn't feel like it needed to have a boxing bag in here just because I did make a whole new separate room for a gym. And so I do actually delete that out. You don't actually see it in the footage because I did it at the very, very end. But I do just switch that out and just add a plant and just things like that just to clutter up that little space. We have now moved on and we're doing the upstairs bathroom. So like I said, there is three bathrooms in this house. This one, which I would term as the master bathroom. Then there is a Jack and Jill bathroom and then a bathroom downstairs. But I decided to show this one because it's technically the master and so it is the biggest. It has a separate shower and bath. But in the other bathroom on this floor, there is also a bath and shower, but it's kind of the combination that we got with the parenthood stuff pack or parenthood pack or parenthood game pack. I used that one in here, but in this one, because it is a separate bath and shower, I decided to show this one. But moving on, I'm now furnishing Eliza and Bob's room. So 
Originally, when I was going in and doing this, I went for this purple swatch of the bed, and I went for this originally because I really like the wood, like the colour of the wood on the bed frame. But at the very, very end of this room, I do actually switch it up to be the green one, which I just don't think I noticed when I was looking for the different swatches of this bed frame. But I knew I wanted this one because it's kind of like a big, grand bed, and so I just thought it would kind of match Eliza's personality more than anything else in the build and buy menu and like i kind of have been saying i feel like she's the perfectionist of the household and so i feel like she would probably have furnished this whole entire house herself i reckon bob probably had no say in it as whatsoever like at all and so she kind of got to decorate her bedroom and decorate all the things in the house especially her bedroom and so that's why it's this kind of color and this kind of theme but like i said i do end up switching up to the green one anyway but as you can kind of see i am just doing this little dresser area and so i just use loads of different objects and just kind of clutter it up this is probably the most cluttered room in the whole entire house just because of these chest of drawers i didn't want to leave it plain and empty because with chest of drawers they are so big they've got so so much space on top of them i feel like they look really really bare and so i did just kind of make an exception when it came to this bedroom and just kind of cluttered that up a little bit but you can kind of see i added the get together wardrobe they do have a chest of drawers and a wardrobe just because there was space for one and so i thought it'd be nice maybe eliza has all of her clothes hanging up in the wardrobe and bob just where he wears just like t-shirts and stuff he probably just has his folding up in the chest of drawers but i'm just finishing up this room now i just add a little rug i did actually have an ottoman at the bottom of the bed but i just really didn't like it and so i decided to just delete it and just completely switch it up but now I have moved on and I'm doing their son's bedroom. So I said at the start of the video, this is probably one of my favourite rooms I've ever done. I just absolutely love this. It is such a cute little room for a toddler. And I just, my, my toddler rooms more so are normally for girls. I don't know why, but I always tend to decorate rooms for girls. But I absolutely love this. This is probably, or if not, my favourite room I've ever done for a toddler. But as you can kind of see, I'm just doing this little shelf above the bed now. And I absolutely love adding shelves into children's rooms. Just because I feel like you'd want to display all of your teddy bears and all of your different things that you've got from your multiple birthdays. And so I just add that above his bed. I also use this clock, which we got from kids' room and stuff, which I never really tend to use the clocks. I always just kind of, um, like... Just completely forget about the clocks in the build and buy menu i don't know why but i decided to add it into this room i did also add that little giraffe on the side which i absolutely love that giraffe it's one of my favorite things to put into toddler's bedrooms and so i just added that and you can kind of see that i've just pulled out one of my saved rooms so i've spoken about this a few times in my videos so i have debug saved rooms so one time i just went in off camera and just added a load of stuff into separate rooms for different ages and for different kinds of rooms in the house just to save me going through the debug menu and it just I, I have one for toddlers and it just or toddlers and babies and it just helps instead of me having to scroll through the menu for like five to ten minutes to try and find that one thing I just kind of have it all into one place so if you do want to do it because I've had some questions about it previously all you do is you just go into your build and buy menu and then you just tap in bb dot show hidden objects on or space and then on and then you can pull it all out I put them into separate rooms and then saved them rooms and they automatically go into your saved rooms when you go into build and buy mode and so you don't actually have to turn on the cheat when you just pull it out like I just didn't put I didn't just like turn on the cheat and then pull it out I, this is kind of already there and so it just saves a lot of time so just in case you want to do that in the future because it is such a big time saver but as you can kind of see I've now moved on and I'm doing the guest bedroom so like I said this room didn't have any kind of theme in it whatsoever I just kind of wanted it to be a very clean guest bedroom and in there I had the get together wardrobe the same one that went into the other bedroom but just in a different swatch i also just add a little desk with a computer on and just a little single bed i didn't feel like it needed to have a double bed so i just used the parenthood single bed in the kind of like a gray and white swatch which i really really like but now i'm moving on to the last room in the house so this is the garage which i imagine they converted into a gym room for eliza and so i use a lot of the stuff from the fitness stuff pack in here and so i kind of use that collection but I don't think the punching bag is from that collection I think that's just one that we have from maybe spa day or something or maybe it's just base game I'm not completely sure but you can kind of just see I've added loads of different 
gym equipment in here i'm pretty sure this is all the gym equipment they have in the game but yeah so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching me make the pancakes a new house obviously you don't have to have the pancakes live in this house i just thought that the pancakes could possibly live in this house but anyway guys i'm going to end this voice over here as always i hope you enjoyed watching me make this and as always if you do like my content then please subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in my next sims 4 speed building video bye guys